Mr. McLeod is a pioneer in mineral exploration and environmental impact. He is one of the people who saw early on the link between mining and the environment, and that it has to be managed. Jim McLeod's passion for the mining sector and the environment led to the creation of Enviro Cree, an environmental services company with offices in Mistissini and Rouen Nuranda in Quebec. It's a partnership with EXP, a large consulting firm, and KN Equipment Incorporated. The reason I got into Envirocree was we saw a lot of issues with the trappers and people in the community wondering about these mining companies, what the activities that they were in. Jim has played a key role in helping mining companies and Aboriginal communities communicate their needs to each other, offering companies local knowledge of the area and helping communities understand the projects planned by the mining companies. Uh, a lot of the stuff that happened before was just like here's a written document this is what we'll be doing and it, it was pretty hard for the people to understand it that way so now today is consultation that you listen and they explain a lot of the program and we're there to help. Enviro Cree provides a long list of environmental services to the mineral exploration and mining industry from impact studies and environmental assessments to surveying mapping and monitoring 67% of EnviroCree's workforce is Aboriginal. The, the founding of EnviroCree, I think, is a stroke of genius because uh, the environmental aspect of the mining industry is becoming more and more important. He's uh, now a substantial owner of what is a very fine company in uh, what one could call a highly technical field. EnviroCree has also allowed Jim to follow his passion for providing education, training and employment opportunities to Aboriginal youth. And I said, Alexey, you know we should put a program together and just do the basic training introduction on it. So this is where it all started. So we put the program together and we present it to what we call CHRDs. The program was also supported by Eco Canada's BEAR program. It was a combination of classroom and field work. And we put them out in different field work, uh, maybe up in the Hydro-Quebec camp, some in the mining sectors. So they all got that experience of two weeks in the field. And I received some beautiful letters saying they were very good, very interesting to work with them. Well, the course has taught me good about the environment and everything. So I'm hoping to get a job, but first I want to get, get into advanced more advanced environmental technicians. We, we need to, to, to uh, let the people know that the, the, these students are available. Yeah. And they're, they're trained and they're ready to work. EnviroCree isn't the first company Jim McLeod founded. He still operates J.A. McLeod Exploration, which he started in 1987. We do a lot of expediting services, you know, bringing in gas, bringing in food. Uh, we supply cook if they need a cook. We supply uh, mostly anything they need in their camps. That's the genius of Jim, is he is an Aboriginal entrepreneur. In addition to building and supplying entire camps, J.A. McLeod Exploration provides additional services such as line cutting, staking, mineral exploration, geological and geophysical surveys, drilling, and geological mapping. Jim also saw this enterprise as an opportunity to provide training in his community. It started with a basic prospecting course. The first year when I put out the program, we were only allowed 15 students to train on each program. I had 50 something students apply. And the next program the following year was 95, applied for it. Since his start in the industry working in the bush when he was 16 years old, Jim has been dedicated to the environment, the mining industry, his community and his clients. 
that they've worked with him for a long time and they're highly appreciative of the quality of the work that he does and his genuineness as, a, as an individual and fairness. So I think that's the, you know, more, far more important than whatever financial yardsticks that you might use. As a board member of both the Cree Mineral Exploration Board and the Canadian Aboriginal Minerals Association, Jim always has an eye on new projects that can create business, training, and employment opportunities.